One of the coolest things about the deco liner is the fact that you can drive it from the roof. I always get asked, is that legal? Well, it's not illegal, and it's a very fine line. I was never a big motor homer. I always thought it was kind of weird driving around in a big box and sleeping in it. Then I built the deco liner. It's really cool. We had a lot of fun with it. I put over 15,000 miles on the deco liner. The wife and I drove all over America. While building the deco liner, Randy invested over $100,000 in parts and a whole lot of time. The deco liner was a 6,000 hour build executed over an 18 month period. I know, do the math. It's a serious medical condition. That's seven days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day. There were only 15 days taken off. Yeah, I have issues, obviously. It's not based on anything else. The chassis under the deco liner started as a 1973 GMC motorhome. That motorhome was a very iconic motorhome. It was way ahead of its time. Deco Liner has a 455 Oles and a front wheel drive system in it. Most motorhomes, you walk up a flight of stairs to get above the engine and the drivetrain. Because the Deco Liner is front wheel drive, the frame is only 14 inches off the ground and it allowed me to stack the roof and still keep it under the 13.6 legal max here in the States. The vehicle was recently sold for half a million dollars. I had seen the Deco Liner on a couple of television shows and I always loved the design of it, the Art Deco aspect of the vehicle. By happenstance, I met somebody who knew Randy, discovered that the vehicle was for sale, so we arranged a meeting and worked out a deal. It's an amazing vehicle to, to be involved with because everybody smiles profusely at it. It just brings a lot of joy to people. I've always thought of the Deco Liner as Flash Gordon's motorhome. It's one of the coolest things about the deco liner is the fact that you can drive it from the roof. I always get asked, is that legal? Well, it's not illegal, and it's a very fine line. For a policeman to pull you over and write you a ticket, he's got to put down what vehicle code you violated. And there's nothing on the books about driving a car from the roof. And it will probably come as no surprise that this isn't Randy's first build. This is what I do for fun and profit. I actually make a living building these crazy vehicles. A lot of people know me for the Jay Leno tank car. That was the very first car that I built and that really put me on the map. Believe me, when Jay Leno buys your car and gives it the thumbs up, you're a hero. So here we are in Frankenmuth, Michigan. There's this giant car show Really had fun bringing the deco liner and letting everybody see it and experience it firsthand. When I negotiated the deal for the deco liner, I also negotiated a deal for one of the deco pod motorbikes. And after I got to know Randy better and got to experience the quality of his work, we created a new vehicle, a Roadster. The deco liner is the center of attention wherever it goes. One of the lessons that I learned very early on about the deco liner is that there's a certain responsibility that comes with driving it. I was driving it to its debut in the Portland Art Museum up in Portland, Oregon, and I was late. It's showtime. And I'm mobbed at the gas station with everybody wanting to know what this crazy thing is. So I finally get fueled up and I'm like, I need to go, I need to go, you guys. And then here comes a bus full of 30 deaf kids. And they all surround me and, and the guy, he's asking me questions and he's signing to the kids. And, and I'm in a hurry and I gotta go. That's when it really hit me. Wow, you don't have time for 30 deaf kids? What's wrong with you, guy? That's when I realized, when you bring the circus to town, you better have the patience to deal with the response, the smiles and the joy and letting the kids go up on the upper deck. That's what floats my boat. It's really an honor and a privilege to drive this thing and make people smile and laugh wherever it goes. I'm a lucky guy.